visit the ultimate tennis destination on the web. Get the latest in free video lessons, racket and gear reviews, and discuss your passion of tennis with members from around the world at TennisWorld.com. Hello, I'm John Hubble with Tennis World. Today we're going to be play testing two rackets and comparing two Babolats, the Aero Pro Drive and the Pure Drive GT 2012. So we're going to compare them and see how they feel. Feels like a pretty good, good solid frame. I mean, it's feels like the ball comes off the racket, so it's got some stiffness, but I definitely feel like there's plenty of control. I mean, you can hit out on the ball and not really feel like the ball's gonna fly. Um, I don't hit a lot of spin, but I feel like when I'm trying to put a little more spin on the ball, that it's grabbing it pretty well and holding, holding the ball, um, slicing, you know, a little, little more top spin on the forehand. Uh, the weight of the racket feels nice, evenly balanced with a little bit of lightness in the head, so definitely feel like you can come through with the racket head. It's not, um, no, no real uh, stress on the arm. I mean, it's, and this doesn't have a dampener, so I mean, you're really getting the full uh, feel of any vibration that might be there, and, and it's, uh, there really isn't a whole lot. Um, so I, I would say, you know, good, good amount of power with, with good control and the weight of the racket is light enough in the head that you can swing through quickly, but heavy enough that you're feeling like you're getting good, good control on uh, even some off-center hits. You know, I mean, even though this feels like it's a little bit more flexible, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more, more power with this racket. Um, could be that like, you can feel a little more weight in the head, and maybe the weight in the head is helping accelerate the racket and give it a little bit more, more power. Um, it's still grabbing the ball pretty well. Uh, you know, even, even with the weight, it's coming through the air uh, fast enough. I feel like um, I can control whether I'm trying to hit a little bit of spin, or again, I hit rather flat, so certainly not excessive spin on either side. Um, I mean, I, I, do, I do notice a pretty good size sweet spot where you really feel like you're getting a good hit, even on some missed hits, and uh, it, the ball doesn't die. The ball still has some pretty good, pretty good power and pretty good rotation coming off the, coming off the, the frame. So in comparing these, these two frames, uh, I think they're, they're both pretty solid, good frames. I don't feel a lot of difference. Um, the arrow has a little bit more weight in the head, so you know if you have a little bit of a longer swing, I think you are gonna get a little bit more pop on the ball. Uh, however, the, uh, the pure drive still gives you, you know, plenty of power and holds the ball well enough that you feel like you get pretty good control. Um, if I were to compare the two, I mean, I think volleying wise, uh, the, you know, the pure drive is a little lighter in the head, so a little bit easier to, to get the racket around on the shorter swings, yet the, um, the arrow, when I'm taking my longer swing, the weight really can come through onto the ball. Uh, spin with both of them, even though I, I hit rather flat, I feel like I can put some spin on the ball and it grabs pretty well with good control. The sweet spot in both of these um, are pretty impressive. I mean, even on some miss hits or off-center hits, you're still feeling some pretty good stability with the frame and, and not a, a deadening of the power. You're still getting pretty good uh, power off the, off the hit. So uh, I, I think it's sort of kind of like a personal preference whether you want a little lighter head with maybe a slightly stiffer frame if you have a, maybe a little bit of a of a, a shorter swing. Aero drive, I think you need to be able to swing through the ball because it is a little bit heavier in the head. I mean, they're close enough that I think 
ground strokers might like either of them. I think volleyers might like either of them. I do think the, the aero drive might be suited a little bit more for a, um, for a ground stroker that, that, that takes some bigger swings, that likes to swing at the ball. Uh, maybe not quite as much pop on the serve. I think the pure drive, um, because it's a little bit, little bit lighter, and I think you can get some pretty good power with a shorter swing, might, might feel a little bit better to those that are up at the net a little bit more, maybe an all-court player. But certainly, I think both frames would be pretty well suited for um, intermediate up through advanced players of uh, whether you're an all-quarter ground stroker or even just a, a serve and volleyer. All right, after testing both these Babolat frames, I think if I were to have to make a decision, as difficult it would be, because we got the, the, the blue and the gold, and being a Cal grad, be tough to go with either, but I think uh, the Pure Drive GT might be my choice, besides the fact that it, it matches my shoes with the blue and the black and my outfit. I think uh, I like the feeling of a little lighter in the head, so I would probably go with this frame right here if I had to decide. Today we're going to do a little racket testing. Two rackets by Babolat, the Aero Pro Drive, and the new 2012 What's it called again? Pure Drive. Pure Drive.